welcome to the nerdy fitness vlog with Pablo Gunner and I am here to talk nerdy to you about nerdy stuff and fitness stuff and nerdy fitness stuff I guess so uh, I haven't done one of these for a couple days and it's because I got doubled over so the day before I got doubled over I came in early I was late though leaving so but I was like eh, I don't really have anything crazy planned so it didn't really matter at the time what I had going on I was like because I, what I had going on was what was up on the schedule was the X training, which is the yoga and then the like the you know like the jabs and all that stuff, jab, cross, hook, all that with the kicks you know thrown in there and stuff like that. So, but I was like, you know what? I did yoga the other day. I don't I don't feel like I need to do it. I'm not really that tight, so I'm just gonna skip the yoga. So I just did just the just the boxing uh you know stuff i guess so that was that was good and then like i said i got doubled over so i didn't work out obviously when i got off and i didn't work out that night before i went in because i only ended up getting like five hours of sleep so and then from there i i was going to work out when i got off work but the gym for work was closed the power was out, so uh, we weren't allowed to go work out there, so I did not work out, and I was like, yeah, that's all right. I'll work out when I get home, and so I was supposed to do, I was supposed to do arms, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to do arms when I get home because I have, because I, I'm, I'm trying to step up my weight, you know, with the, with the dumbbells, like five pounds each time that I do it, and I only have tens, and I think I'm at, I think I was at 20. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was at 20. So I, I was, I was tired. Like I said, I worked a double, and then I worked another shift uh, after that, like after five hours of sleep. So I was tired. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna edit this video, and then I'm going to bed. So that's what I did. Went to bed, got plenty of rest. Then I came in early last night and I did my arms workout and I added stuff I was just like I'm just gonna do as much as I can because I went got there so early I had an hour to work out so I was like I'm gonna do as many arms workouts that I can think of heck I'll even repeat some if I need to just so I can get like full rotations and stuff so that's what I did and uh, but yeah but still like I don't know what it is I still didn't feel sore enough I'm sure I'll feel it later but I just didn't feel like I did enough. I was like, ah, I feel like I could do more. But I was, I was out of time. Uh, and that's, and that's why later on, I'm just gonna do like one thing that's, or what, you know, something that's like two thing. It's like two thing focus, like chest and try. You know, like I'll do a chest workout and I'll do a try workout, and I'll do that for an hour straight, and then I'll do like, you know. Um, biceps and forearms another day but I mean I'll, I'll probably do like the next day I won't do biceps and arms I'll probably do uh, you know legs I'll probably do you know like a certain legs workouts you know and stuff like that that's that's later down the road right now I'm still progressing and doing well with this I haven't hit the ceiling yet but I feel like it's coming soon like maybe within a week or two then I'm gonna have to start stepping it up on like start going to more um, machines and stuff like that and doing heavier weight stuff so um yeah and then this morning i was like you know what this morning it was it's my x training today day because it's well i consider it my x training day because of the fact that i like to do yoga on my last day so i was like you know what i feel like doing hardcore um cardio but i also feel like doing the yoga so instead of doing the yoga first, I did I did a mashup of X training and the hardcore, which I did like really intense, like you know, legs workouts, not more legs, but hardcore uh, cardio workouts, you know. And then I also did like the the um, boxing stuff or whatever intermittently. So that's what I did. And then till I was done with that, and then I was like, now I'll do my yoga. And then I did the yoga, and I feel fantastic. And I'm gonna, the wife and I are supposed to go to the state fair today. And that's the thing too, is that I've been hankering for some bad food lately. I really have, I've been hankering for some bad food. So this is like the perfect way 
to to do it is to go to the fair and just do it up and do as much as I can and feel really sick about it afterwards because that's what happened like the last time and that's what happens like every so often like every couple months or so I'll just get hankering for like fast food or for really bad food and then I'll eat it and then it makes me feel really sick and then I remember why I don't eat it anymore or why I only you know I, I do it very um, rarely so that's that's what's gonna go down and then I'm supposed to also I'm supposed to record something with Tone Bone and possibly his mujer, wife, um, and then uh, and and also record with JD. We postponed it for a day because he had he had a friend uh, in town. So and I like I said, I was tired. I was tired, so I didn't want to get up at six o'clock. So I haven't talked about music in a while, and what I've been listening to, I've been listening to. I think it's called Deadly Reflection. That's the name of the album, and it's Silverstein. I didn't even know the album was out. I really like Silverstein. I've been listening to them since the beginning. I went to them before they really hit it big. I saw them in Milwaukee in uh, for Warped Tour, I, and, there, and it was just an insane freaking mosh pit. It was just phenomenal, and I just fell in love with the band after that. Like, I think I was into them before, but that's where I was like after that. And, and everything that they put out has just been so solid. But listening to the, the, this album has also gotten me to, I don't know what it is, it really has made me feel in the mood for Bayside. So if you don't know Bayside, they're pretty awesome too. Uh, so you should check them out, they're fantastic. I don't know if they do still do music, I should look them up and see if they still have, if they put out any more music as well. So yeah, um, so that's, that's what I've been jamming to. Uh, I've been in the mood for some anime and I asked people on Facebook uh, suggestions, but the thing is, is like everybody's suggestions was subtitled, and that's the thing is like I'm so tired. I'm just not in the mood for subtitle. I do not feel like reading. I read so many comics, and then I just like constantly reading comics. Always, always, always. I'm just burnt out on reading. Because if I wasn't, then I'd read the Game of Thrones books and the Harry Potter books, which I still have not read. I know that's horrible. I think, I, in fact, I just gave up and I was like, I'm just going to get the Game of Thrones books on Audible, on, uh, you know, and then I'm, and same thing with Harry Potter. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to start doing audio books since I have this long drive. So that's, uh, that's, that's what I got going on. Um, in fact, I did start the Game of Thrones one and I was like, wow, this is going to be really boring and dry. It's the Clash of Kings, which is weird because I've already read about halfway through it. So... Uh, I remember at the beginning the, what he was talking about, so I was like, oh, I need to skip farther ahead, but I'm not sure where I'm at, so I need to check and skip to that point and just start there. Um, and then, like I was saying with anime, though, I just, like I said, I have not been in the mood for, for subtitled anime, even though I feel like it kind of is better. So I watched that Fate Zero on Netflix, which is pretty solid. But I hate animes. I don't hate them, but I don't like animes where people use, especially other people, to fight for them. Like, they use avatars or they use, like, something to fight for them. Like, I like Pokemon, but I still feel like it's kind of messed up because you're essentially using animals to fight other animals. <laughs> um, but anyways, like, yeah, so I don't really like that. That's what they do. Like, there's cool stuff in there. And, and I like the fighting stuff. That's, that's neat. And I like how anime always like does their own twist on like on like you know the Arthur and and, and the Knights of the Round Table or just like you know stuff like that Seven Deadly Sins all these different things like all these weird iterations. Um, uh, I also was watching Kanichi, which I looked up because I they had the first half of the season on Netflix and then they took it off. So I was like I really like that show and I really like fighting animes. So, um, so I was like, man, so I looked it up because this guy actually from work was like, oh, I think this is the name of it. And I was like, that's it, that's it. So I looked it up on, on Hulu and I found it and I watched that. And I think it's some of the stuff is stuff that I've already seen, but I'm not sure. Um, so, but yeah, I, I love it because it's just like this whippy kid that gets beat up and then he's, you know, does it just like to protect himself and people that are weaker than him. And then he gets like super into it and it's just like it's freaking phenomenal i love it so yeah but uh but that's it for me for now tell me what's like your favorite like fast food um 
because I have a lot of I have a lot of bad food that's like stuff that I'm hankering for. Like I have like tell me what your favorite like bad fast food is. Uh, because me, I I get a hankering for um, chicken nuggets from McDonald's, um, the chicken the chicken sandwich and the uh, bacon cheese from uh, what's the name of it uh, Wendy's, and then also uh, the mini churros from Jack in the Box. Uh, what else? Um, there's also the beefy. It's like beef cheese, rice, and Fritos from Taco Bell. I love those little things. So yeah, but I want to know what like things that you like from fast food places that are bad for you. Just, you know, as long as you don't eat them all the time, you're good to go. But yeah, so I want to know. And uh, that's it for me for now. Stay fit, stay healthy for the most part. Uh, stay nerdy and love and peace.